everyone at home uh, on this Good Friday morning. Uh, welcome to Pure Core Home Workout. Today we have something special for you all. We have a Sarah with a six years of experience teaching yoga, and she's gonna lead us on 15 minutes of a very relaxing yoga and stretch. So without further notice, here's a Sarah. Thank you, Suka. Hello, and welcome to our easy yoga, some light stretching. We're gonna make it very simple. We're gonna start off standing, and then we'll go into sitting. If you have your socks on, that's fine. You wanna make sure you're not slipping or falling wherever you're choosing uh, to do your yoga practice today. So whether you have a mat or a carpet or a wood floor, just make sure that you feel comfortable that you aren't going to, to fall. All right, so let's start with our feet together. Tailbone tucked under, core nice and engaged. Relax your shoulders, arms at your side. Anytime you do yoga, you want to make sure you're setting yourself up, that you're relaxing your brain, closing down your mind. Forget all the worries that you have. And let's just take some nice, deep breaths. We're going to inhale to the count of three to yourself, and then we'll exhale to the count of four. That'll start relaxing your mind and relaxing your body. Throughout the next 15 minutes, make sure you're keeping your core engaged. All right. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Slow your breath down. Inhale. And exhale. Keep going. Make sure as you're inhaling, the breath is coming from your belly, extending your belly, the breath going through your ribcage, you're extending your ribcage, your chest. Nice deep breaths. Two more. One more. Good job. Now let's just widen your stance just ever so slightly. Bring your right arm straight up to the sky. Keep your shoulder down. Your shoulder wants to go up with your arm, but make sure you're keeping that shoulder down. Just reach toward the sky. And now bring your other arm straight up keeping both shoulders down. Nice way to think about it is broaden your shoulders in your back. Just bring those shoulder blades out towards the edge of your body. That helps keep those shoulders down. Keep your core engaged, your tailbone tucked under. And now interlace your fingertips. Put your palms up towards the ceiling and just gently push those palms up towards the ceiling, keeping those shoulder blades down. Keep that core engaged. Keep breathing, just a natural breath, reach. Release your fingertips, keep your palms together. And now gently, let's bend towards the left. Stretching out your side, your spine, your abdomen. And breathe naturally. Come back into neutral.
let's open up your right hand. Take your left fingertips on top of your right fingertips and just gently fold your fingertips backward. Again, we're releasing and opening up that wrist, just helping it to relax. Release, and now cup your fingertips down towards your forearm. Take your left hand on top of your knuckles, not up here on your wrist, but on your knuckles. And just gently push, relaxing that wrist. Relax. And now the other side. Gently pull your fingertips back. Make sure you feel very rooted into the ground. Let's put your weight on your left leg and bring your right knee up. Give it a nice little hug, wherever it feels most comfortable. Keep that core engaged and let's do some circles with your ankle. Loosen that ankle up. Go the other way. Waking up your ankle, so do some circles. And the other way. Point and flex. And release. Good job. Take a wide stance. Point your feet just at an angle. We're going to do some torso twists and a little squat. Bend into a squat. This is somewhat like goddess. Goddess pose would be like this. We're going to bend into a squat. You're always going to keep your hands on your inner thigh. And we're going to squat. As we squat, we're going to bring our right shoulder in towards our left inner thigh. Make sure you're getting a nice twist. And each time, try to twist a little deeper. So squat, bring your right shoulder in and up. And squat, left shoulder in and up. Again. Keep going. Each time, make sure you're twisting a little deeper. Exhale on the way down.
hands to chest. Slowly come up, make sure you feel balanced. Cross that ankle over your knee. If you feel comfortable, do a little bend. See? Not as much balance on one side than another. That is absolutely normal. Come out. Good job. Good job. Let's take a wide stance. I'm just going to hinge. So we want to make sure that our upper body, our spine stays nice and tall. Engage your core. We're just going to hinge down. Hinge from the waist. So just come down. Nice tall spine. Nice straight back. You should start to feel it in your hamstrings. And if you're comfortable, cross your hands behind your back. Keep those shoulders nice and soft. Really spread out that back, those, those shoulder blades. Nice wide back. Go a little deeper, just to feel a little deeper stretch on your hamstrings and your glutes. Draw your belly button up, your hips come forward, you drop your head, you're stretching that spine, your back, you're elongating that spine, you're working on your abs, your lower back, and now let's come into cow. So you're dropping your belly button towards the mat, you're bringing your head up, pulling your tailbone back, and you're breathing. Let's move back into cat. And now the cow. And do two more sets on your own. I like to hold each pose for a count of five. Make sure you feel that nice stretch.
And now let's drop our bottom down towards our ankles. We're gonna go into child's pose. If it feels comfortable, you can keep your knees where they are or you can extend your knees out towards the edge of your mat. Sometimes that allows you to have a little more room and then drop your forehead to the mat and really start reaching your fingertips out. Drop your bottom as close to your heels as possible. Keep stretching your fingertips out. This is a resting pose, but it's also wonderful for elongating your spine, just getting a nice stretch, all, an all body stretch. And just breathe naturally. And now come back into table. We're going to do thread the needle. So you're going to get firm, firm placement of your hand, your left hand. Let's take your right hand, and as you're drawing your right hand, your right arm behind your left arm, drop your right shoulder to the mat, your side of your head to the mat, just to get that nice stretch. Take a 
few cleansing breaths. Breathe in and out. In and out. Arms to your side on an inhale. Let's bring them up overhead. In. Hands together. Exhale out down. One more. Up. And exhale. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you, Suka. Thank you, Sarah.